Welcome back to Long Time Toolies. It's Kyle, and I got a quick video for you going over Stanley hand planes. Everyone knows by now I love hand planes. I love Stanley hand planes. I got a bunch behind me, and I got two right here. This one I've had for a while. This one is new to me. My uh, little brother sent me this. He knows I love old tools, so he found this and sent it to me, and I wanted to go over what makes this one different from this one. Now, on the surface, they're the same thing, right? I mean, they look the same. They, they have pretty much all the same parts, but there's some really big differences in this one and this one that you really need to know before you start jumping into hand planes, especially these old antique vintage ones, because this one you might be wasting your money on. This one is a really good investment if you plan on actually using it. So let's, let's take these apart and let's get to work and show you what makes this one not so great. Okay, so before we get going into the differences on all the parts, I wanna talk about a little bit what this is. This is a Stanley Handyman. It's a number four size. It was made somewhere in the 50s, 60s, 70s. That's where Stanley made them. This one over here is a Stanley number four type 16 made from 1933 to 1941. It's a pre-World War II model, which these are, excuse me, much more sought after than the, the post-World War II model, where a lot of things really started to change. Right off the bat, we'll show you. This one here has a nice, solid, hardwood handle. The handyman, not so much. It's cheap, softer wood, it's painted, it's falling apart, it's chipping, it's cracking. It just doesn't feel as good in the hand. So that's the front knob. The rear tote, same thing. You got the nice hardwood and you got the shitty softer wood that's painted. And you can see it's chipping, it's falling apart. There's really not much you can do um, to make this look any better. You just gotta kind of repaint it because the wood is lower quality. Now, the Stanley Handyman has its place in history. What happened after World War II? A lot of guys came home, they bought houses, they started working on their houses, using some of those skills that they learned from their dads and their grandpas, and they wanted their own tools, obviously, to work on their house. Now, Stanley bought this line of planes. There was another company that was making them, so Stanley bought them, started marketing them towards the more weekend types, not quite the professionals. They were cheaper. They weren't gonna run you a whole lot. A lot of these older planes, especially the big jointers, would run you usually like sometimes a week's salary, which for a guy that's just working on, you know, a couple DIY projects here and there to keep his wife off his back, or the husband off her back, they're not gonna invest in something like this. They're gonna go down to the Sears, which is where a lot of these were sold, and they're gonna buy the cheaper handyman. So I already showed you the tote and the knob being cheaper. Now there's a lot of other little things that you wouldn't really notice unless someone kind of points them out or you, you're really familiar with these nice older ones. First thing, you see the, the sole the, the, where the frog sits. This design, it's a lot stronger. You have a frog adjustment screw in the back so that when you take that frog out, it'll sit in the same spot every time and it's easier to adjust it. On this one, Super simple, cheap design. The frog screws don't go down as far. You can see maybe it's just not as deep. That's important when you really start planing wood. The frog itself too is a little different. Um, they look the same, right? I mean, it's, it's a frog. It looks the same. You take it like this though, you can start to see the differences. You got pretty much the same, the same screw in the middle but you have a lot more surface area on the Type 16 and the, the earlier Stanleys, especially the really early Stanleys, where the, the plain iron sits. The more surface area, the better. This one, real cheap. Not a whole lot of metal that it sits on here. You turn them over, you see even a bigger difference. The depth adjustment screw on the handyman is steel. This one's brass. Here's the frog adjustment that goes into the frog adjustment screw on the body. This is painted on the handyman. That's not really that great because what that means is it's not milled down to sit flat. This is milled. 
This is just metal on metal contact. It sticks a lot better, it holds a lot better. We're gonna look at the lever cap. This is called the lever cap. Looks pretty much the same. It's got the kidney bean uh, hole that was pretty popular in the later Stanley models. Um, turn it over. Turn it over, you see a huge difference. This here, where the lever cap would go hold down onto the chip breaker, is it's got this plate. It's got this little little piece of metal. Here, you're getting just the, the straight contact on it. Not really ideal, less surface area, less tension, easier to skip. But, I mean, for the most part, the chip breaker is the chip breaker, uh, as you were. The lever cap is the lever cap. Take a look at the chip breaker. The one on the Stanley number four is longer. That's better. It's got more contact with the iron. But other than that, I mean, it's pretty much the same, same uh, thickness. It looks the same except for the length. I mean, it's, it's a chip breaker. They do matter. If they aren't strong, they will flex. And if they flex, then the chips can't get broken, which is important. The blades, the irons, the, the heart, the heart of the plane. You see here, line up the holes, right? So if we line up the hole, you can see there's not as much blade area here and it's not as tall at the top. Now this isn't a very big deal if you're not using your plane every week. You know, you'll pull it out of your toolbox every now and again. But as you get going, you'll, you're gonna need to rehone this edge and slowly but surely, you're gonna eat away at the blade and it's gonna get closer. Once it gets here, that blade is gone. You can't use it anymore. So this gave you, this, the old Stanley number four, gave you a little bit more life, a little bit more, more action in it. And like I showed in the chip breaker, it, it's got more surface area to contact with. Now things, I'm not a metallurgist, but it's pretty clear that this metal on the Stanley man is shitty compared to the number four. You can just see the way it wears. This got a few little chips. I tried to put an edge on it just the way I sharpened these and it was a lot harder. It didn't hold an edge. It just, it sucked. It was not fun to sharpen. The thickness, about the same. So not much there, but it's just, these were just cheap. These blades, these irons were just cheap. The biggest thing I think, the biggest thing that I, I could find were the frog hold down screws. I'll take one from the number four and one from the handyman. Look at the difference in the size. Look at that. This one has its own washer. This one just kind of has a washer head. The frog, the frog has to be held down securely. That is where all the force is being applied to the wood. If the frog is held down securely and it skips or it adjusts just a little bit, you're gonna get things like tear out. You're gonna ruin your wood. So if you're doing really fine woodworking, the Stanley Handyman isn't it. You just don't wanna get it. If you're doing finer woodworking or you just want a higher quality plane, you gotta go with one of the older ones. Now, some people are saying, well, I don't really plan on doing fine woodworking and that's okay. Not everyone's gonna do, you know, stuff with walnut and stuff with, you know, these, these exotic woods like lead wood or babinga or, or anything like that. And they'll think, well, I'll save the money and I'll get a Stanley Handyman. I still wouldn't. I wouldn't buy a Stanley Handyman if I planned on using it. And here's the reason. This one, I got this for like 30, 35 bucks, I think on eBay. These on eBay right now are about the same price and you're getting a much worse plane than these old Stanleys. The handles, the totes, everything kind of sucks. The frog adjustment is a huge bonus on these old Stanleys. It just makes life so much easier. And these, these just, they just feel better. They have nicer blades. You don't have to put as much work into them to get them tuned up. You can get this tuned up into a nice user plane, but the big issue has always been for these, the frog. The frog skips out, the frog moves, and that's bad news. The Stanley Handymans, they have their place in history. They fill the need, and a lot of guys and a lot of girls put these in their hands and did great work with them. But today, we're lucky to have a choice. And if you're looking and buying old planes, 
you'll you'll stumble across these Stanley Handyman's and some of them would be really nice looking and people will say, oh, they're great. I would still pass over them unless you're just a collector and you just want all the planes from all the years. Then you're going to need one of these. You're going to need a Stanley Handyman in your collection. And that's fine. I just, uh, my personal preference after using these for a while and, and doing a lot of research is just avoid the Handyman. Now, I still believe that tools deserve to be preserved. They don't deserve to be thrown away because they do still serve a purpose. So I am going to tune this one up. I'm going to do the best job I can, make it as nice as possible, and then I'm going to put it toe-to-toe -to -toe with this old Type 16 Stanley Number 4. And we'll see, you'll be able to see then, why these are worth way more in your hand than these, no matter how much work you do to them. That's all we got for this video today, Toolies. I appreciate you sticking around. Uh, be sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Longtime Toolies. Check us out on Pinterest. We even have a TikTok. I don't know. I don't get TikTok. I think I'm too old to understand it, but whatever. Uh, let us know any videos you want to see, tools you want to see. Oh, I just got this. It's a Stanley number five. I think this one's a Type 16 also. We're going to do a full preservation on this, fix it up make it super nice, use the, the grinding wheel, everything. I'm super excited. So follow us, stay tuned for that. Other than that, we'll see you next time.